Hello Aries, welcome to your next 48 hours in love reading. This is uh, where we talk about love and your path to love and through love and back to ultimate love. Um, I'm gonna grab my tea here. Got a little fire burning over the shoulder, kind of, you know, fire sign-esque. Thought maybe it was appropriate. Maybe things get a little steamy, get a little poppy, a little hot. I hope so. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyways. Hi. So we're just looking at the next 48 hours in love. Um, if you're already in a relationship and I start talking about new love, and you're like, I'm in a committed relationship and I'm happy. I just want to know about the dynamics between us. Well, maybe it's not new love coming towards you. Maybe that's something new happening within your love life. Um, and if you're totally single and I'm talking about, you know, someone who's already in your situation, then this reading probably isn't for you. Uh, please don't try to make this fit if it doesn't actually fit your circumstance. Um, these readings are for people who are, um, you know, intuitive a bit. You have to use your discernment in this. Um, and we're looking at how love is impacting you and your growth here in Earth School. Every, all of my readings are pertaining to your soul's growth and your personal development here in Earth School. Um, if you want to know, you know, is your wife banging your neighbor? This is not the channel for you. I'm not, I'm not really looking at other people. Everything I'm looking at is pretty much within you. It may be reflected out of you to come back. That's so within, so without. Or as within, so without. Um, as above, so below. So as up here shows up there. These are the things. Um, anyway, disclaimer over. Hi, Aries. Welcome, spirit guides. Ancestors, please be with me now. Help me to connect with the energy of the Aries Collective as it pertains to love for them for this next 48 hours. What they're dealing with, what they're experiencing, how things are rolling, how things are flowing. Let's, uh... Oh. Let's tap into it. We're going to look for... Um, I have a couple of oracle decks here as well, and we're gonna do tarot. I'm probably just gonna do a, uh, a Celtic cross. Now, the subject may change. Like, I'm looking to do a love reading in spirit, but I'd be like, yeah, but their finances are all jacked up and that's messing with the love life. The reading may diverge and go into finance then at that time. These things happen, they really do. Yes, you doodly doodly. Hmm. Spirit, please connect me to that energy stream with Aries and love. What's coming towards them in this next 48 hours? And if you're an Aries who's like, well, I'm not, I'm not even looking for love right now. Why'd you click on a love reading? It's in the title. Anyway, I'm just saying. Oh. Woo, baby, Aries, in the unseen energy, you have a Capricorn, or the devil, um, choosing fear over love, or making choices from a fear-based place, is typically how I see the devil. It's also obsession, it's also uh, um, addiction, those sorts of energies. So it's in the unseen energy, it could be a shadow aspect of self that's manifesting in a physical form around you that you're not aware of. Um, but the overall energy is a three of cups, of coming together with friends and celebrating and having good old times. That's nice. Your overall energy is the three of the cups. Um, the potential crossing energies for this, a six of wands, a victory type energy. This could also be a card of Leo or Sagittarius, and a fire sign um, who's kind of high and mighty on themselves, thinking that they're the, that stuff. And in a Three of Cups setting, if you're a little too boisterous, a little too boisterous, a little too I'm the shit, that could kind of damper the party. 
I'm just saying. Not, not all of us Aries act like Leos. <laughs> just kidding. I'm actually a... Ouch, that hurt. That hurt my heart. Because I'm a Leo moon. Um, that's why it hurt my heart. Get it? So, in astrology... I'm not an astrologer, by the way. I'm not a licensed astrologer. I'm a tarot card reader. Um, but with that said, I've got a, just enough knowledge to get myself in trouble. In astrology, your moon sign typically is your emotional body. Your... So we say our heart, our heart chakra. Your sun sign, that is your, um, your soul path. So if you want to look at it through the chakras, you could say that the moon is the heart chakra, and then the sun sign is your upper three chakras, and your rising sign is actually your lower three chakras, your physical you, how you physically manifest in the world. So now that's over crowning the situation so what's up in the headspace about this whole thing nine of cups wish fulfillment happiness self-satisfaction you're pleased with your life and how things are going for you you're very very pleased and that's good and at the foundation of this situation um, we have temperance Balanced emotion. I have an incoming call. I'm going to cancel that. It's balanced emotions. It's head. it's not head over heart. It's not heart over head. Both are working in unison together. Or it's a Sagittarius. But that's at the foundation. That's your grounding. That's, that's how you're grounding into this whole scene of the Three of Cups. Energy. And that's that's fantastic. Who doesn't like the balanced person in the room. Again, the crossing energy being uh, that we are the champ. I am the champion, not the we are. I am the champ. It's, it's a little too much is what I'm getting. A little gauche for the scene. So don't let the ego run away with yourself. Six of Wands is a, is a card of confidence and ego. In the recent past, Ace of Cups, something new came in. A new sense, a, a new sense. Sorry, I'm not singing in excess right now, but a new sensation came in, regardless if I'm saying it or not. Um, and in the near future, Page of Pentacles could be a youthful earth sign or, or just someone who's not ready to fully, you know, I can't come into my king energy yet. We're just talking. We're just getting the door open. But I want to make you a. I want to make you a, a tangible offer. I want to make it real for you. Let's get dinner together, my treat. Interested? Maybe we should start spending more time together, because a pent time is a pentacle. You know, something you can appreciate in the physical world. Um, how are you seeing yourself in this, Aries? Whoo, you are content. You are, you're seeing yourself as the total package. You're the Ten of Cups. Why wouldn't somebody want this Aries business here? I mean, this is, this is the whole kit and caboodle. I mean, I'm, I'm all that and a bag of chips and some kabucha. How is the world around you seeing you? As a tower moment, um, I'm getting the feeling, Aries, are you looking pretty good right now? Because you're causing people to be like, either, so seeing this as the outside, um, how the outside's seeing you um, position, this could either be you're causing people to have towers in their life, or they think you're a bit of a fucking train wreck. That's up to you. You know your story. I don't. But I'm seeing it personally from the people are looking at you like, damn, baby's fine. Aries looking good. There goes my fucking situation I'm in. I'm going to fuck that up right now so I can come after Aries. That's how I'm viewing it. But it could be that the world around you is like, wow, what a fucking train wreck. Just say, train wreck and tower are very, 
as we use them in common diction, it, it works. If you got a problem with that, leave it in the comments. I'd be interested to dial, debate that with you. Anyway, moving forward, where are the hopes and the fears? The hanged man. No, not the hung man, the hanged man. That, so that's the hopes and the fears. Um, yeah. Anyway. Which is, uh, I think the hope is you're hoping to come out of this with a new perspective without having to hang yourself upside down by your ankles. You never know. But you may be looking for that new perspective. And the overall outcome, wow! Again, Aries with the Four of the Wands. Who's getting married out there, Aries? This is a card of the wedding, not the marriage. This is a celebration. Cele this could also just be celebrating your connection. Um, the Four of Wands is a beautiful card of celebratory energy. So we're starting with the Three of Cups and ultimately we're ending with the Four of the Wands. I am, I am stoked about this reading, Aries. I really am. This is fantastic. Spirit, um, I'm going to pick up the White Sage Tarot and I'd like to clarify some of these energies if we could, please. I just like a little clarities, if we could, please. Um, starting with this Ace of Cups in the recent past, this new sensation, this new emotional thingy that came in. And I said thingy, I did, I really did. And I, I don't know why I did. Anyway, this emotional gift from the universe is, whoo, wow, I just had a flash in my mind that I'm not sharing it. By the way, I'm an Aries too. I have a, my Venus in Aries. Um, in Vedic astrology, which is what I lean towards, I'm a Pisces in West German Aries. I'm the most Piscean Aries I know, though, so I tend to lean towards the Vedic. But when it comes to love and romance, which Venus is a huge influence there, my Aries is in Venus. My Venus is in Aries. I used to date in Aries, and my Venus quite often was in Aries. <laughs> I went there, I did. I did. Her Venus was also in Aries. Um, yeah. Anyway, here we are. Five of Wands. It's a card of conflict. And that was in the recent past. It's also a card of Aries. So it could have been an emotional romantic thing coming in from another Aries. Or you had a conflict, competition-y thing happening, and that brought up or guided you toward a new emotional sensation, you know? Yeah, just saying. A little competition came in and that caused somebody to step forward. And yeah, that's, that's how I'm seeing it. It's an Ace of Wands is clarifying that. So I'm seeing that there may have been a little competition around and that caused someone to want to, okay, I better step up my game, otherwise Aries is gonna get taken. Here's that offer, Aries. I like you, I think you're cute. I think you're dang cute. Cutest I've seen in a while. Aries, you're really good looking out there. Breaking hearts, turning heads, you know what I mean? Uh, Spirit, let's look at this temperance and the foundational energies here for Aries. What is this temperance energy about? It's because you're feeling really grounded in the physical world, Knight of Pentacles energy. You're stable, you got your shit together, you got, you got your bag straight, you know, you know what you're doing. That's cool, and that's helping you feel tempered. You're not all emotional over something, you're not all up in the head over something. That's good, that's, that's fantastic. Uh, this page of pentacles that's coming towards you, Aries, in the near future. Spirit, what do we have there? Ooh, could be a water sign, masculine. Uh, or someone operating out of that energy. I don't know why a uh, water sign, masculine, gets a bounce from me. That's awkward. Oh, my rising sign, Scorpio. And this is a card of Scorpio. That's why, because I'm, I'm, I'm making things about my, I'm, I really don't like putting myself in my own readings. I don't. I don't really read for myself much. So that could be coming from a Scorpio. What else, Spear? What else can we say about this page of pentacles? Um, you know, anyone, any brain surgeon who has himself for a patient has a moron for a doctor, or an idiot for a doctor. I look at the tarot the same way. I really don't read for myself that much. 
I'll pull cards for me, but pull reads. I'll misinterpret. I'll let my ego in it. It's horrible. Six of Cups, nostalgia. Nostalgia. Something uh, reminiscent from the pissed. Don't get pissed about the pissed. Anyway. Um, yeah, and this Four of Wands in the outcome. That's half the deck spirit. What's this Four of Wands in the final outcome about? I mean, it's the Four of Wands, but what the heck? Let's just, you know, it's a fun read. Could be an Aquarius. Star. It's healing energy. Nurturing your soul. Satisfying your soul. Aries, I love this reading for you. This is beautiful. Um, if you like this, claim this. Drop a comment down below, please. Please. Spirit, let's take a look at um, these Romance Oracles angels cards let's see if the uh, cherubim have anything they want to sweet slide in here about this these energies that are coming towards the aries this next 48 hours in love Woo. codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life there we go back to that three of cups celebration and then that ego based six of wands coming across it so codependency could be having a, an impact addictions so codependency isn't just being codependent on another person it can also be an addiction it could be gambling it could be playing tarot um it could be sex it could be i said gambling already it could be alcohol you know There's, there's lots of addictions out there. And uh, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Ah, okay. So the codependency, the addictions, and seeing this. I'm not surprised the devil energy is the unseen energy. And that's probably a shadow aspect of self. May want to chickety check yourself through this weekend, Aries. If you notice like you're an anxious feeling, stop, check in with yourself. Is there anything really going on in the scene that you're in, in the living room that you're hanging out in that's requiring that level of anxiety? Everyone's laughing, having a good time, but I'm, I'm feeling the need that why is she talking to him and why is, he, why, why is he doing that over there? It's not your problem. They're doing what they're doing and it's okay. If you need to go take a walk, do it to cool down. You don't need to control the whole scene, man. You don't. Well, Aries, I think that's, that's about all I got for you for this reading. I hope this resonated. And if it did, again, thumbs up it, please. It helps the algorithm. And drop me a comment down below. Let me know how this vibed for you. I, I really love hearing back from you. And uh, if this is where we're parting ways... I really hope you have a wonderful weekend. And, uh, yeah, fantastic. Take care, Aries. I appreciate it. And by it, I mean you coming by watching this video. Cheers. From my heart to yours.